hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I'm filming down here today because uh, I'm too lazy to go upstairs. <laughs> now it's just a bit brighter in here and uh, I'm just looking at doing different things, changing it up a bit. Changing channel about, uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes and you know it's uh, time to get serious I think, New Year and, and all that. Now, I've jotted a few things down, I've uh, 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 jotted a few things down, I'm just going to have a little bit of a chat. First things first, uh, the Eddie Hills uh, saga. Did it happen? Uh, I've had a lot, of, a lot of stick over it. Did Eddie Hearn have a fight as an amateur super heavyweight and go 4 and 0? Oh? I don't think he did, did he really? But why aren't people coming out saying, I fought Eddie Hills as an amateur? So, for the last time, is there any amateur boxers out there who fought a 6 foot 5, 18 stone, he might have been about 16 stone then, 6 foot 5, super heavyweight, that's over 91 kilo, I think, Terry Chapman Diamond's man foot weight on amateurs, I don't understand kilos, only thing I understand are uh, stones. Did Eddie Hills have a fight at Super Heavyweight at Billy Ricky Boxing Club? Billy Ricky Boxing Club saying no he didn't. They know Eddie Earn, but nobody's fought under the name Eddie Hills. It's not on record as happening. I know Ultra Tech Sports Raw mentioned it, but did it happen? I don't think it did. Why aren't the media people asking them about it? Coogan Cassius. You asked him about it, but you asked him about it as like a mate, you went, come on Eddie, did it happen or didn't it? Yeah. Instead of saying, Eddie, you're telling porkies, you didn't fight as Eddie Hills, did you? It didn't happen. So, alright, so that's that out of the way. The other video, the KSI Logan Paul experiment, now we were told by Eddie Hearn, we were told that the knock on effect for these fans going to the fight of KSI, Lowe and Paul, the knock on effect will, ha will have fighters on the undercard like Billy Joe Saunders fighting on the undercard of a big show like that. Eddie Hearn said the knock on effect would be those fighters would sell loads of tickets and be even bigger than ever. So Billy Joe Stone has fought on the undercard, so that means that he's going to be bigger than ever and that he'll be selling out arenas in the UK. Has that happened? No, they're still trying to get Billy Joe fight out of country. What about the other people that fought on the undercard? Are they any bigger now than what they were? No, they're not, because I've been looking at the social medias. They're not. So it was all a load of old tosh, wasn't it? It was all a load of old cobblers. So while I'm in a slaying mood today, I don't want to accuse anybody of anything, but Barry Hearn just happened to be mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein's book. It's online. It's been on the news. Now Jeffrey Epstein is a paedophile of, of the most disgusting nature. But I'm not saying that Barry Hearn is, because he's a geezer in the old Baza. We love old Baza, don't we? But I want to know how long he's known Jeffrey Epstein, what his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein is, and basically, why is he in Jeffrey Epstein's book? And if he is in his book, because his numbers were in there, he got five numbers in there. What business dealings did he have with him? How many, how many times did he ever phone him? 
what were his business dealings and did they ever go out as couples? Jeffrey and G Ghislaine, is it Maxwell? And Barry and his wife Susan, what, what's going on? Because somebody needs to come out and explain or do they just not want to give it airtime? Why aren't YouTubers with matchroom press passers asking these questions? Because this to me is a massive story, massive, and I want to know what the is going on. So can somebody from Matchroom or Sky Sports come out and explain to the fans why Barry Hearn is in Jeffrey Epstein's phone book? That's what I want to know. So this is how I look at it. Billy Joe Saunders, fantastic fighter, but where's he go next? Barry Hearn, why is he in Jeffrey Epstein's book and why have we got this wall of silence? And the KSI Logan Paul experiment, did it work? I don't believe it did. And if it did it, if it did work, Sky are gonna put it on pay-per-view again, aren't they? Logan Paul's next fight. But will they put Logan Paul on pay-per-view again? I don't think they're so sure, and dare they do that. But like I said, Barry Hearn, I think you're great. You're a big hero of mine, Barry. But you're in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Why is this? Why is nobody in the British media asking these asking these questions? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Oink oink. A shout out to Innovation Alloys, AJ Hobson. I hope you're doing well, AJ. Shout out to Kevin Hall, South, South Yorkshire Packaging. Boom!